Well, hello, Faith family. I hope that by now you have checked out the midweek update that comes to you via email and text message. If not, just stop what you're doing right now and go check out that email. There's some really great information in there that we want you to know about. But I do want to highlight a couple of quick things for you today that are exciting for us, opportunities for us to serve and love our community. So you heard me mention this this week. We got our backpacks in just this past week. And I said this on Sunday that we received these from the North American Mission Board, specifically the Sind Relief Department. Uh, 72 of these came to us for free, and that's because of your cooperative program dollars going to work, uh, a part of the Southern Baptist CP program. So just wanted to uh, mention what we're doing with these. So first of all, August 2nd, we're going to pack these with school supplies. But until then, over the next few weeks, we're asking you to bring some of the school supply staples that are going to go in here. Things like rulers or maybe pens, pencils, markers. Here's some markers in this one. Expo markers are also uh, highly used in classrooms right now. There's folders in here. I've got a notebook in here. I mean, there's all kinds of good stuff that we want to be able to pack these with and then be able to give these away. So we are targeting some apartment complexes in our area. I'm going to send out some flyers this week and wait to see a response as far as how many kids are in those complexes and how many we can serve. But just know this is a great opportunity for you to get involved. So you can find a list of things that we are collecting within this email, also within the worship guide each week. So check that out in case you'd like to know more. And speaking of the North American Mission Board and the SEND Network, SEND Relief, all of the departments that fall underneath that, here in the month of August, so coming up very soon, is going to be the month that we collect the Annie Armstrong, what was the Easter offering. And we're just not observing it at Easter this year, but 100% of this offering goes to support missionaries who are funded by the North American Mission Board. So this is a great opportunity for us to continue further advancing the kingdom all across North America through church planning, church revitalization, you name it. And God's doing a great work through that network. So we want you to pray about what you might give and how God can use your gifts for his glory. Church, it is an exciting season right now at Faith Baptist Church. I've got some more things to share with you. Here's an announcement from myself and our finance team leader, Steve Price. So I'm joined now by Steve Price, who is the leader of our finance team. Steve, tell everybody hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, I, we just wanted to kind of give you an update on the progress regarding our building debt retirement. So this is an amazing story. I've just got it work here at our church. Uh, so Steve, tell us where are we at just roughly? I know the number keeps can, continues to decrease, which we praise the Lord for, but where are we at right now with our building debt? Uh, well, what, what, what has occurred is that we uh, uh, paid down a good chunk of money to 140,000 that the congregation led us to do. And uh, that, brought the debt to about 144,000. Since that time, which has been about a month, uh, maybe six weeks, uh, that debt has been reduced by some, some very uh, uh, great contributions and, and, and uh, just some effort on the part of our church to reduce, reduce the debt. It now stands at 128,854, I think, wow. to, not to be too accurate, but sure. we're, we're in that ballpark. But uh, yeah, we, we just want to challenge as a, as a finance team and as a finance team leader, uh, we want to challenge our congregation to pray uh, and however they're led, whatever they can contrib contribute, that would be great. Right. Uh, but we want you to uh, make sure you pray about it. And uh, of course, don't put your family in any jeopardy or anything right. like that. So uh, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a it's a way for us to try to get this, re this uh, debt reduced by the end of the year by December 31st, we would like to have it off the books and, and uh, allows us to do m many more things than with right. ministry and other things that, that right. our growing church needs. As Steve said, you're not going to see pledge cards. You're not going to see us try to you know compel you to give. We want this to be something that you pray about, that you ask the Lord, what is your number? And that can change month to month. I mean, you might be yes. able to give more one month or over the other. Um, but what are some ways that they can give to this? What methods should they use? There's both online and in person. Yes, right? online, uh, in person, and uh, you can use a regular tithing envelope. How would they label that? Uh, there's a, uh, a label on it that says uh, building by faith. Okay. And if they would just check that, write the amount in there, uh, we'll be able to make that contribution to the proper fund. That's right. And then online, it's similar. If you give through the app that we have, the Church Center app, or you do that on your computer, there is a uh, specific yes. line item yes. that's the same title, Building by Faith, and so you can give directly to that. And so, church, we're excited about what God's doing. This is These are exciting times. I yeah. mean, I can only imagine 
what our church is capable of in these next few months in retiring this debt. And then beyond that, the ministry that it opens up. Yes. So thank you guys so much uh, for taking on this challenge. Yes. We are praying and, and, and we want to thank you oh. as the finance team leader and the team itself. The team. This team is doing a phenomenal job, church. And we uh, definitely, if you see any of these team members, uh, please thank them for the hard work that they do. So thank you guys so much. And we're excited about what God has ahead. Thank you. God bless.